Hey, how are you doing? So I'm just going to show you a quick example of and tutorial on what to do with the Hisense TV you may have picked up. This is the 65 inch version. I've seen these ones now, they come with um, HDR and 4K upscaling. Um, this is going to be an example on the PS4. This, they have just updated over the air the latest um, software release on the Hisense TV. So what you need to do is go to um, settings system and then you will find before where it says HDMI and CEC function. You need to just go, just go into about system info and just have a look on there. Now the latest software version is, if you look at the end, is H0112. That's what the software version should be. If you've seen an older software version, uh, what you need to do is, is go into system update. And then if you've not got the auto firmware upgrade tagged, you need to click that across or just click on detect. Once you do that, it will search for any updates. And like for me here, it says no updates were found. But if you've already got it tagged, when you first turn your TV on, you should get a message pop up saying there's the latest update, you want to uh, install it, etc. You just click yes. But if not, I mean, I, I was checking for this for some time. And the only way I found it was, is you need to turn the TV off, but with the actual hard turn off button on, on the underneath of the TV. You don't just press the standby button, you need to physically turn the TV off. Um, and then once you turn it back on again, you will get that option then um, for a software update. Anyway, so once it updates is then you need to go back into the system and then to enable HDR, if you go into your HDMI and CEC functions, and then you'll see now at the bottom, you've got a new option here called HDMI 2.0 format adjust. So if you click on that and then make sure it's down as enhanced format it is it is set for some reason to standard format. But if you just click that on to enhanced here, it will then you hear the TV go off. Um, the sound will go off just while it, it, it updates it all. And then that will be then set to it then. Anyway, so then you go back off that and then you now have HDMI enabled. Now, if you go to your picture settings, your picture mode, um, you'll see you've got standard, cinema, PC game, dynamic and HDR. Now, if you've had the older software update, you will also have had HDR there. Um, now, for some stupid reason, uh, there still isn't a very, very limited amount on the Hisense TV or the PS4 Pro um, in HDR content. And that is simply down to that on the Hisense TVs, I mean, this is Jan 2017 now, the Netflix app on the Hisense TV doesn't have HDR compatibility at the moment. So when you go on to Netflix, um, there is, I mean, there, it is updating the list all the time through Netflix, but there is only um, probably about 20 titles which are HDR compatible on Netflix. But at the moment on the Hisense TV, you won't be able to watch any of them at all. And that's simply because the app doesn't support HDR. That's hopefully something they're going to address. I don't know if that's a problem with Hisense or with Netflix, but a simple software update will will sort that problem out. Um, so if you go onto your Hisense TV and then on Netflix, you will be able to search in the search bar for any 4K content, um, but you won't be able to find um, anything with HDR. Once it is updated, you will know because when you go onto a title like Marco Polo or Daredevil Ridiculous 6, it will then say HDR. So anyway, onto your PS4. So when you go into PS4, to make sure that you've got it all set up correctly, um, this is a PS4 Pro version. Um, you need to go into your settings at the top. <clears throat> and then once you're in settings, you need to scroll down to sound and screen. And then if you look on here, you'll see a selection of areas here. You need to go to video output settings right at the top and then resolution. Now it should be set then at the bottom to 2160p RGB. That's what it should automatically um, select it to. If it's not, just select that. And then where it says HDR, make sure that's set to automatic. If for any reason, once you do go to resolution, you still aren't getting the, the 4K 2160p options, just Turn your TV off, turn your PlayStation off, and then turn it back on again. And then one that up, once that update is installed on your TV, the PS4 Pro should see that your TV's um, 4K and HDR compatible, and you should get them options then. 
Okay, so that's basically then you know that the your, your PS4 Pro and your TV is is uh, enabled and you're allowed to get 4K and HDR content onto it. Um, again, uh, there is only so many titles on the PS4 Pro uh, which are HDR compatible. So I've spent and wasted many times selecting and going on different games on the PS4 Pro and then going onto my TV, going to the picture settings and still you know the hdr was grayed out there was there's only so many games unless it's a hdr compatible game you're not going to be able to select that hdr um picture setting at all so at the moment don't waste your time the games that are out uncharted 4 final fantasy hustle kings infamous second son nba world of tanks there's only a few games and some of them are completely rubbish anyway so there's only a couple of games at the moment which you can get HDR uh, content on, but it's new technology. It's going to keep um, getting better, and most more, most games will be more compatible um, with it as we go on. In 2017, Gran Turismo, Gravity Rush, Days Gone, etc., they're all going to be coming out, so you're going to have a better choice of HDR content. So anyway, so you've got your HDR content now enabled on your TV, um, you would think on your PS4 Pro um, that when you go on to your uh, Netflix app on there, you'll be able to watch HDR content. No, no you can't. For some reason, again, God knows why, they've released a PS4 Pro, this brand new system. You can get 4K on it, you can get uh, upscales of 4K, HDR compatibility. Go to your Netflix app and once again, it is not compatible with the PS4 Pro app of netflix so you won't be able to watch any uh, hdr content on netflix ps4 pro app again it's the same reason as the hisense um, app it is not in not compatible enough yet so again that's something ps4 and um, netflix one of the two they need to update that app as soon as possible hopefully so we, we can start enjoying watching hdr content so anyway so the only way because it was bugging me thinking is is it a problem with my telly is um, should i be able to click on this hdr button and uh, the only way to do that is if you go into the internet on some sites and just type in hdr download you can download a few um examples of films which are hdr compatible um i've just put one of those on a usb stick i'll just show you and then and then you know then that it's actually going to work so once you put it onto your, your USB stick, it was only a small file, so it doesn't take very long. I've just simply downloaded it on my computer, put it onto the USB, and then plugged that into the back of the telly. If you go into your media, and then I've just get the I've got a folder here called HDR samples, and then if I click on this is Life of Pi. I don't I don't God knows why that's even HDR, but anyway, so let's click on that. I'll just show you a short amount, and you can see that the quality difference. I mean, you're watching this um, through YouTube, so YouTube, again, isn't HDR compatible, but the colours, the blacks, the black hair, everything stands out. The quality is, is fantastic. The, you know, it stands out such much, much more better. All the colours just seem sharper. Um, it's really good. Uh, and then, the, you know, the, the deal breaker now is if you go onto your um, settings, and you go to picture settings, well, hey, look, lo and behold, picture mode HDR is now automatically set, so you don't even have to click it. You know that it's now found HDR content, which is being sent to the TV, and it automatically uh, selects HDR for you. So anyway, so there we go. So at the moment, um, there is the ability to get HDR content on your Hisense TV. Just make sure you do what I said before and update it to the latest software on your TV, make sure it's got enhanced format as the HDMI option, and then you're good to go. And then it's just a case of waiting now for Hisense and PS4 to update their Netflix apps. And also, the same with YouTube. With YouTube at the moment, you can watch 4K content on YouTube on both the Hisense and the and PS4, but you, you can't watch any HDR content. I, w I would be interested to know if, if you have got an Xbox One S, if you can watch HDR content on the Xbox um, One S. That would be interesting. I, I can't. I really can't understand why the PS4 Pro have, have released this. You know, 
this new console and, and, and the apps aren't actually compatible and up to date yet but that's hopefully something which will change in the near few in the near months and it'll get resolved anyway hopefully you uh, find that helpful and thanks for watching goodbye